Georgia, Georgia Tech. Uh, Georgia is another team that uh, you know has, does not have a good record ATS this year when they're a uh, when they're a huge favorite over 20 points. But in games with more modest spreads, they've been very good. Four and two ATS with every uh, with in in um in the six games where they've had a spread under 20 points, and they're given about 17 right now to Georgia Tech. Uh, Georgia Tech has been very good though this year, and I talked about this in the beginning of the year with Georgia Tech. It matters uh, because they run the same system every year. Their recruiting is very very important, and this year their recruiting was better than uh, than it has been in recent years. So I said at the beginning of the year I was expecting Georgia Tech to be a good bet this year and to continue to be a good bet in the next few years and that has panned out. Now they're going up against uh, Georgia with a big spread here. This is another game that we asked Joe Gavazzi to take. What's your take on this one, Joe? Every week in the point spread prognosis I analyze a team that's going to operate with ice. That's intensity, conviction, and execution. And of course the Georgia Tech option fits that to a T once again this year as they lead the nation in running averaging 354 running yards per game at 5.9 yards per rush this is also a great example of a series history between rivals two years ago georgia tech came into georgia first year for kirby smart and came away with a 28 27 outright victory Last year, Georgia thumped Georgia Tech in Atlanta as 11-point road chalk with a 471-226 yardage edge, holding the Georgia Tech ground game to just 188 yards. Those two events lifted the record of the road team in this series to a phenomenal 17-3, 85% against the spread in the last two decades. This year, each of these teams enters on a four-game winning streak, Georgia Tech has their bowl bid in hand, and Georgia, of course, looking forward to the SEC championship game next week as winner of the SEC East. Georgia Tech option, as I said, offers with intensity, conviction, and execution, and it makes them 13-7 against the spread in recent 20 rolls as an underdog. I like Georgia Tech in this big dog revenging role with that great option play, playing among the best ball they have in recent seasons. Georgia Tech will be my selection, plus the 17 points. All right, it's plus 17 minus 106. That's the best line right now at SBR odds. Makes some sense to me, Ian Cameron. Don't necessarily want to get in front of Georgia here as a, uh, as a favorite of anything less than 20 points. But, uh, you know, if you gave me a free play right now, I'd probably put it on Georgia Tech. What do you think, Ian? Georgia Tech's been a conundrum for me because I thought this team was overvalued. I didn't think they were all that great, all that special earlier this season. And I remember betting against them when they uh, took Duke and they, they ended up Duke winning that game. And uh, But since then, Georgia Tech's played some of their best football ever yeah. since. They've been on a tremendous, tremendous run. Not to cut you uh, off, Ian Cameron, abs- but, but the reports that I read were that uh, this is one of the stronger recruiting classes that uh, Georgia Tech has had in, in a few years. So, uh, so that's why I was expecting them to be uh, maybe a better team and a better bet in subsequent years and in the second part of, of this season when the recruiting when the recruiting class uh, got some experience under their belt yeah that's true that could be something to that because Just they have played it. their best football of yeah. late no question and georgia you know they they'd be more than happy i'm sure kirby smart would be more than happy to go out there win this game by a touchdown 10 he doesn't want to care about winning by 17 or more uh now mark Richt in georgia when he was here they dominated this team doesn't mean it's going to happen here yeah georgia tech plus 17 i'd lean there i I'm going to stay away, but you're right. Georgia's got the SEC championship on deck. They're, they're, they're on schedule to play in that game. Just get in there and win the game. Winning by margin is of no consequence. So I'm not going to be involved, but I could see the Georgia Tech perspective. All right, so it's going to be a pass for Ian Cameron, and uh, Joe Gavazzi is going to take Georgia Tech plus 17 minus 106. Again, this is a game that uh, we assigned to him, not a game that uh, he requested himself. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to our channel. Now we've put a lot of work into producing all these free videos, so please help us out and keep all our content free for you forever by simply liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing. Now not to mention a visit to our industry leading website will warm the hearts of all our SBR employees, especially myself. Now the links are over there to the left, uh, so do check those out. Thanks for watching.